So I wanted to show you this plant here that's in front of me. This is a common name is a green dragon. So Arasema dracontium. This is a ephemeral spring wildflower here in kind of north central Florida, as well as a lot of places throughout the U.S. Um, in the sort of southeastern United States. Again, springtime, it's a bulb that's underground and it pops up. And this is all it does. It has like these tan leaves or whatever that kind of come off split like this. And blooms in the spring, flower, you know, shoots up, blooms, sets these seed pods, these full of these really bright red seeds, which are poisonous. The the seed itself. This particular plant is a female. You can see the bloom coming out here. This is they'll kind of get bigger every year. The bulb will get larger and larger. I mean, I've seen bulbs that are like, you know, the size of softballs and they'll push up these big plants that are like three foot tall. Um, but again, every year that bulb gets bigger and bigger and bigger and where they exist, they tend to be pretty abundant. Like they're not just like a one off that you find like here, there's a good size one there. Right here, here's a few. Here's a few more here. I see lots of them around me here. I am uh, currently in the northern side of Brooksville in the historic Anudaliga hammock area. As you can see, another one here. It's kind of got several sprouting up. They occur, they're only in deep shade will you find this species. Very, it's, it's obviously related to the Arasema triphylum, which is called a jack in the pulpit. It occupies the same niche that that plant does, and you don't find them often next to each other. I don't know why, I think it might just be just happenstance in the places that I've found them, but they are the same, they're the same genus, right? So there are bulbing wildflower that emerges in the spring. They're really interesting component to these hardwood forests and you know just another really niche plant that you kind of only find in these really well-developed diverse forest habitats um i think it's a really i try to have some of them at my house but it gets too dry in the spring and they just get burned up so same thing with the jack in the pulpit it's a little bit too dry in the springtime to where they, I just can't, I can't seem to get them to live. I if I put them in a container or something, I might be able to get them to live, but I haven't yet tried that. Um, but if you have like some shady hammock type areas that stay pretty moist, this, this would be a great plant to put in your native garden. Again, it's a green dragon. It's Erosema dracontium. And again, it, it occurs Pasco north sort of on the west coast and on the east coast i'm not exactly sure i think it's kind of more of a north and like west northwest florida type species i'm sure you can find it throughout um, the northern counties but again you find it in like rich upland hardwood forest is kind of its preferred habitat um, so it's again it's just another plant that kind of showcases the the diversity of these types of habitats. So again, Erosema dracontium, green dragon, check it out.